Hello, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Arch Projects for Kids. I've created a drawing video to show you how to draw Rosa Parks. She was a pretty amazing woman, so I'm happy to share some tips on how to draw her portrait. Let's get started. Here's what you need as far as art supplies go. Drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. You can also download this free Rosa Parks tutorial from my website. Before you begin your drawing, I recommend you first make folded guides on your paper to help you plan your drawing. In this case, you need to fold and crease the paper one time up and down and two times going across. I'm going to do it in separate steps here so you can clearly see how to do it. Okay, now we're ready to draw. Step number one. You can first plan Rosa's eyes with four dots and they go right on that center fold line. Now draw the top and bottom line of each eye. I like to make the top line a little bit longer than the bottom. Finish the right eye with an iris and then a circle for the pupil inside and a curved line for the eyelid. Do the same for the left eye. Draw an iris, then a pupil, and then a line for the eyelid. Step number two. The bottom of Rosa's head is going to be about this big. Start on the fold line and draw down to the chin and then back up to the left side. Step number three. Now draw the top of her head, adding a point on the right side to show where her hair is parted. Step number four. To draw Rose's glasses, draw a circle around her right eye. Then draw the same size circle around her left eye. To finish the glasses, add lines on the sides and a curve in the middle. Now draw eyebrows over the glasses, one on the right side and one on the left. Step number five, to draw Rose's mouth, start with the top lip like this, then draw the bottom lip below to give her an open smile. Draw a line for her top teeth and add some smile lines on the side. Next, add a simple nose in the center of her face. Step number six. Now draw the top right of her head with hair that goes down to where her ears will be, including a line for her part. Then add two ears and lines for more hair below them. Step number seven. Draw the collar lines that kind of wrap around her neck. Step number eight. Then add the shoulder lines to the sides. And now to draw Rose's name in black letters across the top, I recommend drawing the right half first so that you know it will be centered. Then come back and finish with the letters on the left side. Okay, this drawing is all done, so it's time to trace the pencil lines with a good black marker. Work slowly so that you can stay right on top of those pencil lines. And as always, when the tracing is done, take a minute to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. And now it is time to color. I'm going to start with filling in her skin color. Try to work slowly so that you can make a nice solid color that doesn't look scribbly at all. When that is done, a black marker will work great to fill in the little pupils and the open shape inside her mouth. I recommend switching now to a black crayon for her hair 
so you can get some extra texture. That doesn't really happen when you use markers. And don't forget her eyebrows, eyes, and the hair in the back. To color her clothes, I want the shirt to be blue. I just remembered that I wanted to keep that sleeve white, just like I saw in a photo. Now I'm going to color in her name in a bright color so people can easily read it. Work carefully so you can fill in all those little corners. And finally, choose a bright contrasting color for the background. It's good to press hard here too to make a nice solid crayon color. Okay, this Rosa Parks drawing is all done. I hope you learned that it's not too hard to draw features that look a lot like her when you take it one step at a time. Thanks, as always, for following along with me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this How to Draw Rosa Parks tutorial video. I have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including How to Draw Martin Luther King Jr. and How to Draw Harriet Tubman. I'll see you next time, and I hope you keep on drawing.